Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 36, Circle Films, as part of my IGCSE exam question series. If you do find it useful, please do like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Some people love Circle Films, some people hate them. I'm going to go through some of the top tips, and let's do it now. Okay, we're given a um, a radius and a tangent, so straight away we know that that is uh, 90 degrees. And we also know that these are both radii, which makes this an isosceles triangle. So this angle in here is also 18. It's asking us to work out the angle PQT. So that's this angle here. So the green angle plus the purple angle equals 90. So I can say that 18 plus PQT equals 90. So PQT equals 72. And you need to say um, each stage of your working. So I will just write them down here rather than uh, to save time. It says tangent and radio meet at 90 and two radio for form an isosceles triangle. Okay, next question we're asked to work out NOM, so that is NOM, so it's this angle in here, and that angle is 2 times 27, which is equal to 54, and the reason is that angle at the centre is twice the angle at the circumference. Now normally this forms an arrowhead type shape like this. And that's something you should definitely look out for. But sometimes you can move that point along to there and then you'll get this shape. And it is the same uh, theorem. Okay, now we're looking for size of the angle NMQ. So that's uh, M, N and Q like that. And this angle in here is the same as this angle up here. And that is due to the alternate segment theorem. Now normally you will see a tangent and a triangle, such like this. And the angle of which the tangent makes with the first side of the triangle is the same as the angle opposite over here. And this is called the alternate segment theorem. So there it is. Okay, here we have a classic arrowhead and we're asked to work out OAC. So I'm gonna draw a line connecting A and C. And I'm going to use the arrowhead formula, uh, sorry, theorem, and work out that that angle is two times 38, which is equal to 76 in there. And because these two are radii, it means that's an isosceles triangle. So that angle and that angle are the same. So the angle which I'm looking for, which is OAC, is going to be 180 minus 76, and then split between the two equal angles. So that's 180 minus 76, and then divided by two, and it's 52. And to get the full marks, I'll need to write a reason for each of these calculations. So I'd write that angle at the center is twice angle at circumference and two radii form an isosceles triangle. Okay, next question. And we have, um, we're looking for B, C, D. Um, well, the trick to this question is to draw a line down here like that, splitting up that into um, into two triangles. Uh, and we can now use the alternate segment theorem, because uh, when I have a triangle like this that meets um, a tangent like that, then the angle here will be the same as this angle up here by the alternate segment theorem. So that tells me that this is 71. Um, which means that this angle down here is 71 because we've got an isosceles triangle which means the angle at the top is 180 minus 71 and minus 71 which will 
give us uh, 38. And if this here is 38, because this um, quadrilateral is cyclic, which means that each corner touches the circumference of the circle, it means the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180. So I can work out this one by doing 180 minus that, which is 172. Uh, sorry, 142. And then finally, you need to give a reason for each stage. So I say alternate segment theorem, isosceles triangle, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180. Okay, next question, we have these tangents which meet at a 74 degree angle and we're asked to work out ADC. So that's that angle in there. Because tangents and radii meet at um, 90 degrees, I could put right angles in there. And then this angle in there is inside this kite quadrilateral. So I can write that the angle AOC is equal to 360 minus 90, minus 90, and minus 74. So 360 minus 90 minus 90 minus 74 is equal to 106. And if this is 106, then the angle I'm looking for, ADC, is half of that because angles at the center are twice angles at the circumference. So that is 53. And this one doesn't say you need to give uh, reasons, but it just says show your working clearly. Okay, next question, you're asked to work out DBC. So DBC is this angle in here. And first thing I can work out is this angle up here because this is an arrowhead. So it's a classic angles in uh, at the center are twice angles at the circumference. So the angle at the circumference is 89 divided by two, which is 49. And because this is a uh, semicircle, because that's a diameter, and when we have a triangle like this in a semicircle, the angle at the top is 90 degrees. So therefore the angle that we want, let's call it X, plus 49 must equal 90 degrees at the top. So therefore X must equal 41. And this question does say give reason for each state of your working. So I say angle at center is twice angle circumference and angle in semicircle triangle is 90 degrees. Okay, this is a question 23 and it's a real tricky one. Um, we need to work out the size of angle X. Now the first, I'm sure there's, sure there's lots of different ways of doing this, but first off, this angle in here this, because this is a cyclic quadrilateral, we can see that that angle in there must be 180 minus x. Uh, and that means that this angle in here must be x. And that's because both of those two are on a straight line and they must add to 180. And 180 minus x plus x adds to 180. Okay. And if I look over here, this line, this angle here, that one must be 180 minus x. Again, because those two are on a straight line, so they must add to 180. And then here's the key part. This angle in here, let's call it y, that angle is exactly the same as this angle. And that's because of um, opposite angles. When you meet at an x like that, they're the same. So we've got these two triangles, um, the, this yellow triangle and this uh, blue triangle, and they both add to 180, and they both have a Y in it. So that means that the other two angles must equal each other when you add them up. So 54 
plus 180 minus x must equal the other two angles in the blue triangle, which is 32 plus x. So solving this equation, it, this side is going to give me um, 234. I'm going to add the x to that side, which is going to give me 32 plus 2x. I'm going to minus the 32, which is going to give me 202. And then I'm going to divide through by 2. I'm going to get 101 is equal to x. Okay, the final question is tricky. It's a prove that question, which you don't see very often on the IGCSE, but it can come up. Uh, very common in the AQA level 2 further maths, if that's a course you're doing. Um, and it says, prove that this angle, CDA, is 2x. Well, again, there's a little trick here. And the fact that these two sides here are uh, the same, I'm going to want to draw a line connecting them there to create that isosceles triangle. Now, whenever I have a triangle that uh, touches uh, each corner of the circle, each, cor each corner touches the circle, and it also touches the um, tangent, then you can use the alternate segment theorem to tell you that this angle is the same as the angle furthest away, the opposite angle over there. So that yellow angle is x. So if this is x, then it means this is also x because it's an isosceles triangle. And it means that this angle in here is 180 minus 2 lots of x. And then by um, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180, then the blue angle over there is 180 minus the red angle, which is 180 minus 2x. And that's 180 minus 180, and then plus, because you've got a minus minus 2x, so that is just 2x. So we've proved that this angle is 2x. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that was useful. If it was, please do like this video and subscribe, and then move on to the next topic. Bye for now.